What's up everybody, it's Brandon from Jeff Cook Real Estate out in the Midlands of South Carolina. And actually I am out here at the Jeremiah Plan by Stanley Martin, formerly Essex Homes. And I'm gonna take you on a walkthrough of this home so you can take a look at the inside, see what it looks like. Now I'm out here at the Indian River community in West Columbia. So some of the options may vary depending on where you decide to build this plan. This one is sold that I'm showing you right now, but you can at least get an idea of this plan because they do offer it in a variety of their communities throughout the Midlands, Lexington, Columbia, and surrounding area. So let's go take a look inside. All right, so this one here, they did choose the side entry garage and all brick. Now again, depending on the community that you're in, you may have different options available to you. Um, it just really depends on that lot size. But let's go take a look inside. I do advise you if you see blue tape everywhere, they're on the final walkthroughs of this house. So please keep that in mind. All right, so as we walk into this house, big grand entrance, and as you can see, they do have a formal dining area when you first walk in. So let's take a look. So you can kind of see tall ceilings in this one. This one does have the coffered ceiling option. Again, it will depend on where you build to see that with all the molding and accents and everything. As we kind of come back this way on the right here, we'll go over there later. There are two bedrooms as well as a bathroom over here fireplace and back there is a sunroom we'll get into that a little bit but let's start here in the living space as well as over here in the kitchen so as we walk into the kitchen you do see they have bar countertop here gives you some extra seating for it your pantry's over there in that corner kind of like a kitchenette over here where you could put a table here a little extra seating outside of that formal dining so you can kind of see all your cupboards over there. Obviously this is where your stove will be. Here they do have the option for electric and gas. So it just depends on what you choose. And this would be your spot for your refrigerator. Again, we'll look in here, pantry over here. So you kind of see some space for all of your pantry items. So as we head this way, this will actually be the entrance from the garage on this layout here, which walks you into the laundry area. So almost like a mud room gives you the opportunity to kind of have a drop zone here. This will be the entrance for the garage. Again, this one, they did have the side entry garage option, which is available on some lots, but not all of them. So you may have a garage that faces forward in that option. All right, so as we head back down this hallway, on the left here is a staircase. And because this, they did choose the option to do a frog. And for those that are not from the south, a frog is a finished room above the garage. So this area is completely finished. It is heated and cooled. So it is counted in your square footage, but just a little bonus room up here that you can use for whatever you please. And you'll have some attic access up here as well. So again, this is an option that you can choose walk this way into the owner suite as you can see the owner suite over here and take a full view of it and this is going to be your owner suite bathroom little ensuite here private bathroom does have a tub here as well as a shower over on this side close these doors so you can take a peek has a shower over there obviously your tile options and colors will be different as well as your countertops dual vanity option here cabinets below hey 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 over here you do have a private toilet and then lastly in here we have the closet turn these lights on so you can kind of see walk-in closet here gives you some space it's right off that ensuite bathroom all right, so as we leave the owner suite and head back to the other side again, fresh your memory, kitchen, living area over here. We're gonna show you these two bedrooms over on this side. So, good size bedrooms over here. They both have private closets over here. Um, you can kind of see good amount of space inside this closet. We'll head over to the other one, very similar. Another good size room over here. And as well, good size closet in here as well for you. So as we head out, they do have a bathroom right outside these. Gonna be right here, toilet. 
sink vanity right there, as well as a garden tub with shower. So again, three bedrooms, two baths, and there's some closets over here. Let me show you. I'll open these up for you real quick, just so you can see. This is actually gonna be your coat closet from when you come in. And you do see they do have your media panel. That way you can hide your internet boxes and all those types of things inside there. And then this one over here is gonna be a linen closet for this bathroom here. So you have some extra space for linen closet. So plenty of storage in this plan. Head back out this way, cause I know some of you saw this room back here. So just based on this plan, this is just gonna exit out to outside. However, you have a couple options here. This is actually the sunroom. So they chose to do the sunroom in this plan, which gives you some extra square footage and just a full room of windows. Now you can do plenty of different things with this option. This can be an exterior covered porch as well as a screened in porch. That option would be yours when you build this plan, but they have turned it into a sunroom. So you have this beautiful extra square footage here that you can use take one last final look this does come with the options between 2200 and about 2500 square feet put on that frog and that sunroom over there which you decide to add or not add in it so again here is this plan again this is the Jeremiah by Stanley Martin formerly Essex Homes available throughout the entire Midlands of South Carolina So as far as Stanley Martin, you'll actually get to go to the design center to pick out all your options if you're choosing to build that home. That includes your flooring, your countertops, your cabinets, pendant lights, all different variety of things that you can add to the home and customize to make it your own. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the Jeremiah plan. If you have any questions about any of the other properties out here in the Midlands of South Carolina, don't hesitate to reach out. I'd love to share with you them and help you out if you decide that the Midlands is your place to live. Thank you, take care, and we'll see you next time. What I like most about Brandon is he, he's dedicated to what he does.